Okay, YouTube, in this video, I'm just going to run through an example of how to graph a limason uh, of a type that we haven't seen in one of my other videos yet. So let's go ahead and kind of review what we talk about when we refer to limassons. We're saying any function of the form a plus or minus uh, b times the cosine or the sine of theta. I'm just going to write the cosine of theta. But we say uh, these would make these graphs that you see here on the right. And in terms of determining what shape this is, recall that what we're going to do is we're going to compare the values of a and b here, okay? And we say a is always this loose constant, and b is always the coefficient of our trig function. But well, we assume a and b being positive, that is, we neglect this negative right here, then we could say that a in this case is 4 and b in this case is 3. So when we type these, recall that what we're doing is we're comparing the ratio of a to b. And our first one here, this loop, okay, this loop would be when a over b is less than 1. If a over b is equal to 1, recall that we get this right here. This is a heart-shaped thing, so we refer to this as a cardioid. We say if a over b is stuck somewhere between 1 and 2, then it gets trapped in this land here. This would be a dimpled limason. And we say a over b, if that is greater than or equal to 2, then we get this thing that's really the, the loop is kind of popped out there. So it becomes convex. So the first thing I want to do is kind of attempt to diagnose what this is here. We get a over b in this case, a over b is equal to 4 thirds. So I notice that that is actually bigger than 1, but it's less than 2. So what we're going to get here is a dimpled type limason. So let's go ahead and type this here. We see limason, limason, and it is of the dimpled variety. Okay. So in terms of the max r value, recall that the maximum r value is always at a plus b. And so when we say a plus b here, we say 4 plus 3, we're going to get a max r value of 7. And in terms of the number of zeros, looking at this curve right here, what you'll notice is that it never gets a, an r value of 0. It's just not going to happen. So we say this has no zero. So plugging in a battery of values here, recall that the period of all limasonic functions, limasons, we'll put it that way, is 2 pi. So we're going to put in angles from 0 to 2 pi, and we'll go up by pi halves every time. So we say pi. 3 pi halves, 2 pi, and plugging these into our function, here we go, we would say, well, you know, it helps to have your unit circle on you, but, you know, putting in these four points, or at least knowing those ordered pairs, because our circle has a radius of 1, is a good idea. So we say, all right, we'll start at the cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1, so 4 minus 3 times 1 is going to be 4 minus 3, which is 1. At pi halves here, we get a cosine value of 0, so we'd say, well, this is really 4 minus 0, which is 4. At pi, we're back out here, except for our cosine value is negative 1. So we get 4 minus 3 times a negative 1, which is 4 plus 3, so we get a 7. And what's going to happen here is you're going to see this pattern kind of roll back around on itself. Remember, because this is a cosine graph, it's going to be symmetrical over this, this polar axis right here. I suppose this one right here. So we say, all right, well, cosine is 0 down here again. So we would end up with this 4 again, and then at 2 pi, it's going to repeat that 1 that it performed right here. So putting in all of these points here, we say that this is a cosine thing, and the b value is negative. So it's going to be symmetrical over our polar axis, or our x-axis. But we also know because this is a negative 3, it's going to kind of open to the left. So using the fact that this is a dimpled limason, you know, we see this one opens to the right with a positive b, b value here. We're going to have to have something that kind of opens to the left, okay? So like this. So let's take a look at this. If we were to plug in these points, we say in a zero degree direction, we'll walk out one. So here's our one unit out in our zero radian direction, rather. We say pi halves, we're up at one, two, three, four. If we were to go over to pi, we say we're out at seven. So power of imagination, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Six, seven. Seven's way out there. So we're going to say seven is further this way. Sorry about that. And then we would say down here, we're going to be down at, you know, negative four. So we have this symmetry here in a cosine way. We can see that the top half is going to look like the bottom half. And what we get is this thing that folds outward. And of course, it would roll around there and it come back into our viewing window here. But what you get is this. It looks like this. It kind of is dimpled. And I could have made that a little bit better like that, maybe. Okay. But that would be our dimpled limason here. Uh, in the next video, we'll look at one that is convex. Cheers.